Hey everyone, today I will present to you some of the most Instagrammable spots around Montreal. So let us begin. Location number one is Marché Jean Talon. This is my favorite public market in the Montreal area. They offer a great variety of fresh local products and gastronomical treasures. The market is also a great place to shop for houseplants and decor items. If you are a fan of seafood and specifically oysters, I would recommend you stop by La Boite aux Huîtres. This is my go-to spot when I crave for seafood. They have a ton of variety and well cracked oysters for you on the spot. I absolutely love it and it's also very affordable. Location number two is Montreal's iconic landmark, Gibo Orange Julep. I think we're getting into a weird area here. Part attraction and part fast food restaurant, the giant orange-shaped concrete building is located near the Décari Expressway, and it was built in the mid-1940s. It is rumored that the owner, Gibo, has originally intended to live in the orange structure with his wife and family, but this theory has never been proven. The restaurant is known for its orange drink, which tastes like an orange juice but with enhanced flavors. It has a smoothie-like consistency and also includes ingredients such as egg whites and milk. Third spot on this list is Mont Royal. Mont Royal is considered to be something between a large hill or a small mountain. It is located at the center of Montreal Island, which makes it an ideal place to go for a short hike or jog after a busy day of working or studying. Fun fact, no building in Montreal is allowed to exceed Mont Royal in height. As a result of this decision in the city's urban planning, visitors can get an unparalleled view of Montreal's skyline at the summit of the hill. Located on top of Mont Royal is an eponymous chalet which houses a rest area and a cafe. I love the view from this area, especially around dusk. I really highly recommend you take a moment to go visit the top of the mountain. Number 4 is a cafe nestled between the financial district and Old Montreal. Crew Collective and Cafe is located inside the Old Royal Bank corporate headquarters. The building has been since repurposed and now serves as a cafe and co-working space. Patrons can sip on a hot cup of coffee or tea while admiring the full splendor of the 50-foot high ceilings and the last vertige of opulence engraved in every corner of the building. I especially love the decor elements that have remained behind and give you hints about this building and its original purpose. You can tell that some of the stalls that you can sit at are actually bank teller booths and you can also see the beautiful desk lamps that used to grace the desk. It's almost mind-boggling to imagine that this place used to be a bank and customer used to come here for their business dealings. Like compare this to the typical branch that you go to to get your cash or like make a transaction at the bank. It's night and day. Number 5 on this list is Old Montreal. I especially love walking around Old Montreal and the Old Port because the architecture immediately brings you back to a different era. It's almost like you're in France or somewhere deep inside of Europe. Every building is imbued with a piece of Montreal's history. Here you can see the Basilica Notre Dame. I go there every Christmas and it is part of my childhood as well. Many artists actually set up galleries or shops around this part of town as well. So it's a great way to explore the arts and the culture scenes of Montreal.
Next on the list is McGill University. McGill was founded in 1821 and it is the oldest university in Canada. As such, a lot of buildings on campus have an old-timey vibe, especially the Arts Building which is a stone edifice that sits in the center of campus. When you walk around McGill's grounds, you will notice that many faculties are housed inside of old buildings or mansions that have been converted to an office. That is something I find absolutely charming and that I adore about the university. The last and final destination on my list is the Mile End neighborhood. This is one of my favorite neighborhood because of all the artists and murals that are present in this area of town. I love walking around and just admiring the beautiful wall art that people have put around all the buildings. There is also a very famous flower shop that I find very interesting. It is called Dragon Flowers and you can go take a look at the beautiful cages and the installation art that the owner has created. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found some inspiration if you want to visit Montreal soon. And just know that this is a beautiful city.